track athletes want to be fast, and yet most do not lift for speed. Speed is a skill that is taught and earned. Speed isn't something you just get. Faster top running speeds are achieved with greater ground forces, not more rapid leg movements. Greater ground force is earned in the weight room and on the track. Train hard and lift for speed. There are three components for speed. Number one, how often you contact the ground. Number two, how much muscular force you can deliver during ground contact. Number three, how much ground contact time is available to deliver that force. The ability to generate and transmit muscular force to the ground is why someone runs fast. Here at Tribuco Hills High School, we lift for speed. We utilize mass-specific force in the weight room. MSF is the amount of force applied in relation to the body weight or mass. In the weight room, the goal should be to get stronger without adding mass. Mass makes you heavy and literally increases your gravitational pull to the ground. Big people don't run that fast. Our weight training goal is not to increase muscle size, but to create a superior strength in the right muscles with minimal additional mass. It is the only way to maximize MSF, high weight, low rep, long rest routine. Best way we found to achieve this is the deadlift. Muscles involved in the deadlift, quads, glutes, hamstrings, abdominals, calves, lower back, just to say a few. We also use hexagon deadlift bars for form. The athlete will also only engage in the concentric movement of the bar or the up movement, then drop the weight. We want to promote the explosiveness of the exercise rather than the eccentric or down movement that can build mass. We lift heavy, no more than three sets of three to four reps. The lightest we go is 85% of a max and routinely lift 90 to 95% of a max two to three times a week. In between each set, the athlete will do a simple plyometric and then rest, get off their feet for five minutes. We like to add single leg stability and core exercises a few times a week to help with balance, core, and coordination. What gets measured gets done. We have found that adding a benchmark to work off of and see individual improvements is by incorporating a force number. Force number is not a clear indication of the amount of force your athlete is able to generate and put into the ground based on their weight, but it's pretty close. At the very least, every athlete will gain new insight into their individual improvement and set new goals while watching their force number rise month to month. The force number formula? Take their max deadlift divided by their weight. Simply put, this way of lifting works. Lifting for speed with mass-specific force will make you faster.